and they just came out and gave us these awesome t-shirts. And you can see the slogan is, knowledge is power. Very interesting slogan, by the way, for a big Hollywood blockbuster, but I love it. It shows a very clear direction for the sequel, and that clearly this is gonna be Caesar's rallying cry. Uh, a great, great, great choice to go from the first film. I think it really builds on it very powerfully. I love the first film, and I can't wait to hear more about the second. They just handed out these t-shirts that say, knowledge is power. Uh, you've got the first, you know, Rise, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, you know, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, now World War Z. Are we seeing the rise of the intellectual blockbuster? The rise of the intellectual blockbuster? I hope not. <laughs> was that what World War Z was? No. I think what, what Rise is and what Dawn is, is a blockbuster that has emotional intelligent uh, protagonists at the heart of it. So, um, you know, we're trying to be commercial, but we're also trying to be a little bit smart. We're trying to be both. Here's the thing that I find so exciting about the franchise is that it is a story about ideas and and you know the the thing about it is that metaphor of exploring what it is you know the planet of the apes it's all about apes that have intelligence and it's a way of exploring the war between our animalistic side and our rational side and and you know we we don't think of ourselves as animals but that's the great thing about apes is being able to sort of look at ourselves because we are animals and it just makes it sort of more in your face it's got just you know i always think that that great genre movies have just the right amount of cover so that you can experience it in a kind of uh, fanciful way but under it, it's about something that Everyone really matters. And I think that apes, as a, as a metaphor, is, is an incredible one. Well, you know, I'm sure Andy is tired of hearing it, but how do you feel that the Academy continues to not re uh, recognize his work that he does with motion capture? Well, I think, again, this, this is, even though he's been doing it quite a long time, I think the world's just getting caught up to it. Um, I think Rise really put it on the map in a big way. You guys did a nice Oscar push with that. You know, yeah, I thought did. that was impressive. Yeah, it was impressive. And again, it was because Andy we, is, is deserved of it. Um, and, I, and I thought James Franco wrote a beautiful letter on his behalf of mm -hmm. just what his craft meant to the movie. Wow. Um, and I think, you know, on this movie, I think people will see uh, and recognize it a little bit more. He's been doing amazing mocap work forever, and that role, what he did, what Weta did, and the way that it was sort of told, really connected with people in this profound way and I think that was the first time that anyone had seen that level of emotional connection. I know for me it was, like when I saw that movie I was, I thought here I was all this time wanting to be an ape from watching those movies as a kid and when, fi when I watched Rise I finally was because you were him emotionally. You so connect to that story and you know it's it's the beginning of all that. You know when, when somebody is a pioneer in something they, you know, they, they, they don't necessarily get the awards at the beginning but they pave the way for others and he might be paving the way for himself. I like his chances. Oh, oh, good. I mean, everyone's rooting for him, certainly I, the viewers. I am, I, I'm okay. rooting for him. And we've given him a story. Um, this whole movie rests on his shoulders. So he's, you know, he's in every scene. It's, it's a big, it's no a big No supporting movie. actor, leading actor. We're going all the way. Yeah.